Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We are here with Brandy and Maverick and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands he's learned here at school. We're going to start off by introducing the training equipment. And Brandy's got a standard six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand which leaves her left hand free to make a little tiny correction. And the only correction we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar which is the second piece of equipment. Now the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is properly walking on a leash, always on your left, and the command is Maverick Heal. Now at this point Maverick's got a job to do and that's to stay even with your left leg, no forging ahead, no lagging behind, and you'll notice whenever Brandy stops Maverick's been trained to automatically sit and wait for the next command. He should also adjust to your pace when healing, so if somebody's walking quickly with him, he should speed up. If you're taking a slow, leisurely stroll through the park, he should slow down. And that makes walking with him a pleasure. But you can see he's, he's doing a really nice job with that command. His tail is up. He's enjoying this one-on-one -on -one time. And that's the important thing, that they do enjoy this training. And they do get this attention and focus and praise and love. And that's important again. Nice automatic sit. Now Brandy's going to show you Maverick's ability to hold a sit stay. Yeah. You'll use your left hand and the one word firm command to stay. Now at this point he should hold this until he gets another command and in the beginning have him hold this for 30 seconds and slowly work your way up to the three minute mark. When Brandy walks around Maverick he should hold that stay and we walk around the dogs number one to get back to heel position and two for an added distraction. You'll notice sometimes in maybe occasional video or two and maybe even in this one when you get behind a dog sometimes they're a little nervous anxious what are you doing back there and they jump up. He should hold that until he gets another command. Nice automatic sit. Again Brandy gives him the sit stay. She'll go out to the end of that leash. Again he should hold this until Brady gives him another command. With Maverick 2, you can work inside as well as outside because it's important that he knows that there are commands and he has to listen inside as well as outside walking on a leash. So on hot, rain, hot days, rainy days, snowy days, do your obedience training inside with Maverick. And if you can't hear Brandy, she's constantly praising Maverick for doing a good job. We like to use praise as a reward here at school. Nice automatic sit. Brandy gives him the stay command again. Keep your training sessions short with Maverick. 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops. Brandy calls him out of that. And again, his job is to come when called and then sit when he gets to you. And this is a good way to teach him to come back to you when he's called. And instead of coming back and either jumping up on you, come back and sit. And then when he sits, he gets that praise and love and affection that he's looking for. He's a really smart dog and he's done a really nice job here at school. Now if he doesn't sit, you saw Brandy give that little tiny tug as a little bit of a correction. Now Brandy's going to show you the down from heel position. Brandy gives him the down command and stay. And he should hold this down stay for say 45 seconds to a minute, working up to five minutes. And a lot of times if you're working with your dog inside, you can put him in a down stay in the living room and they end up taking a nap before you know it. Or if you're having a day with Maverick where he's a little rambunctious or he's acting silly and goofy and you're having a tough time, make him do obedience training for a few minutes. You'll notice, you'll notice that that training kind of take the wind out of his sails a little bit and will make him just better behaved for you. <laughs> Gave Brandy a little kiss. <laughs> Down and stay. And if I didn't say it, the only time in training when we use his name is when you're healing with him or when you're calling him. And notice all the other commands that Brandy gives, she doesn't use his name. She can call him out of that again. Maverick, come. That's Maverick, come. He comes back. And again, he's supposed to sit, which he did very nicely without being told. And as he gets better and better at home, in a fenced-in area or indoors, you can drop the leash, you can go further away from him, challenge him a little bit more, because again, he is smart. Alright, good. And then the very last command we're going to demonstrate for you is going to be the down from a distance. Brandy has him in a sit-stay. She'll take a few steps away from him, she'll use her right hand. 
and the one word firm command to down. And again, you can slowly increase your distance between you and Maverick. Have him two or three feet away in the beginning, five feet, six feet, and so on. Again, challenge him, challenge him. That's important. And practice, practice, practice. He's a really, really good dog. We're going to call him out of that. So again, it's been a pleasure having him. We want to thank you so much for trusting us with Maverick and for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. We look forward to seeing you soon and have a wonderful day.